Hey everyone, welcome to the next episode of Gig Bag Chats. Today's going to be a fun one because we're talking with Kyle Kahn. Kyle's an actor and performer that's been in movies and TV shows since he was a kid. He also owns a production company and businesses from Georgia to Las Vegas. So let's listen to a little bit about Kyle and what he does. How's it going, sir? It's great. How are you? Doing great. Uh, I've been hoping to talk to you for a while now, so I'm glad we were able to make this happen. Bum, bum, bum. Schedules have met up. Finally, right? Right. You, so at, speaking of schedules, you're a busy fella. What are all? You, you, what do you do? You do a lot of different things. Tell me all the different things that you're involved with. Well, I can start with a short list of what I don't do, and that's sleep. <laughs> um, but, uh, the, the long list, if you want to, so, uh, the serious answer would be, I own three companies and I'm an, a, I'm a partner in five other companies. I own a large scale production company that does large scale event design and concert staging. I also own a dance studio and we do excellent dance education for many young dancers. And I also own a retail store, which has one brick and mortar store and then three pop-up shops. So that is... The, the long of the short. And if I'm not mistaken, that's all, all those businesses are not just in Georgia, right? That is correct. So they are, the production company started its first office in 2006 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And that office is still open and still functioning. Um, it's just right off this trip past the Rio uh, Hotel, which is great. We do a lot of atmosphere performances on the strip. Of course, current times... You know, we're still going, but we, we still do a lot of club design, a lot of club events uh, in Vegas. Uh, but a lot of our clientele is now, believe it or not, in California and Florida and Atlanta, uh, which is great. So our second production office opened in Baton Rouge, Louisiana in 2011, which was great. And we started doing a lot of mall events. Uh, we did Mall of Louisiana, Mall of Millennia. Um, we did a few in Texas and whatnot. And we started decorating malls for Christmas and stuff, which was fun. And then, of course, in 2015, um, I moved here to Georgia, and we've been doing some events here. Now, we don't have a physical office in Georgia, but we do do a lot of events here, which is great. Uh, and then as far as dance studios go, um, this is the main home for dance studios, which is great. And the retail store is in the Mall of Louisiana, and the pop-up shops are here in Georgia. So you are you are all over the U.S. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's a yeah. lot of fun. Um, I'm uh, this year I've taken twenty six flights, but that's for a different wow. reason now. So it's not only just businesses. Right, I'm also right. on tour with a dance competition as their MC and host. Yeah, you have been. I've seen your Facebook pictures everywhere from Minneapolis to New York to Florida. All yeah, over. we've been to uh, 12 cities this year, which has been fantastic. We wrapped up our last city two weeks ago in Minneapolis, which was a blast. It was a four-day event, so on a microphone for many hours. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Lo don't lose the voice during all that. <laughs> never, never. So uh, speaking of your production company, uh, I, I've heard rumors you've had you've worked with some big names. Are you allowed to share some of those big names that you've done work with? Uh, we are a few big names. Uh, of course, we do have non-disclosure agreements that we hold with a lot of companies, other festival companies and whatnot. Um, I guess our biggest name would be doing stage build for, um, uh, oh gosh, we've done Essence Festival in New Orleans. So that had Brandy um, that we, we specialized in her area of the stage, which was great. Um, and then the 1989 tour of Taylor Swift we were very lucky and very blessed to do all her VIP dressing rooms. So where she did her meet and greets after the show, we were the designers uh, set up, tear down and whatnot with the tour for that particular room. And we also did stage build for the platform portion of the stage. So stage build is broken up into different areas. So we were very lucky to do stage build for that. Um, the, uh, Bayou Country Superfest was an absolute blast. We did that four years in a row. We got to work with Reba McIntyre, Garth Brooks, um, Luke Bryant, uh, just really great, awesome people and doing their stage bills at LSU. So, yeah, yeah you know, a few. We've done club openings for Lil okay. John and, and whatnot. So it's a blast. They're, they're That's great awesome. People. That's very exciting. 
Yeah, it is. So, and also, I know from talking with you that that uh, you've been a part of the en- entertainment industry since you were very young, right? Yes. How did you get your start in that world? Um, so, I don't know. I was in gymnastics, and there was a dance class happening in the same gym that I was in gymnastics with, and I wanted to dance. So I started dancing. And then from there, I had an extremely supportive mother, an extremely supportive father, who any opportunity I wanted to do, there they were, shuttling me to a class or an audition or a show or anything. So yeah, I've been, been at it a good little while. Uh, took a, a bit of a break in my teen years and then was uh, right back at it when I was about 17 years old uh, as an adult at Six Flags New Orleans as their assistant choreographer for the opening of that park. So I was the youngest choreographer, you could say, for the Silver Cheap Productions, you know, Six Flags, which was great. And then from then just went on, you know, kept going. Uh, Worked as a professional dancer, singer, actor for 10 years, back-to-back contracts. Yeah. So um, for people who may not know, you and I are in Noonan. And Noonan has become home to a lot of movie industries, everything from – the Walking Dead to Lovecraft Country to the Founder, uh, and you've been a part of a couple of these, right? That is true. So on different different aspects. So I am a production designer in film, uh, but then also on the other side, I am a full SAG AFTRA member and Actors Equity member. So I also have that side of it as well. I definitely perform uh, prefer to be in front of the camera more than behind the camera, but I definitely will take both. Uh, so in particular, um, Love is Country, uh, Kyle Kahn Studios in downtown Noonan has actually functioned as their green room uh, for almost every episode filmed in downtown, which was great. I was a part of Jumanji um, 2 uh, in the production side on Scenic, and then I've done a few other things uh, at other production companies. So yes, so both in front of the camera and behind the camera, we definitely keep it rolling. You know, you do, we do our best. <laughs> Absolutely. And, it, you know, it's really exciting because, you know, it seems like, uh, you know, Atlanta is always the Hollywood of the South. And it seems like Noonan mm. is a great little hub for that. Why do you think that is? Any ideas? We're just lucky. Uh, I think I think Noonan is one of those. Uh, the square in Noonan is one of those places where you can make it look like anything. You can be in New York City. You can be in a country town. You could be in Canada. Um, it's just one of those awesome canvases in downtown Noonan to where you really could be anywhere. So when we were working on, um, I was working on an HBO special of uh, Law and Order, and we were filming here in downtown, and we made it look like New York City. We brought in some ATMs, a couple of bus stops and, and whatnot, and it looked just like New York City, you would never, never have known that you weren't on, you know, the back lot of Universal. Uh, it just looked the same. That's and awesome. Then, I never knew that. Yeah. You know, you, you would have never known. And then um, on the other side of it, the, it's really awesome as far as the people in Noonan. The people in Noonan are very laid back and very chill. And this will come out incorrect, but it does not mean offensive to anybody in Noonan. They're not really into the big stars. You know, they're just kind of relaxed people. So you can have a set, say, like um, right off the square, we use the house for American Horror Story. Um, You can have a full set there, Lady Gaga and and all the actors in there. And it just rolls nice and easy. You don't have big crowds outside. So actors are able to be their true artistic selves without pressure of face. And then production has the freedom of movement without clutter on the streets. Absolutely. No, I can totally understand that. I know it's got to be complicated when you have just crowds of people trying to see everything and be a part of everything and behind the scenes. And yeah, yeah. Uh, on the production side, there's got to be a headache. Yeah. (laughs) Well, uh, but a good headache, though. You know, it's very awesome. It's always good to do that. A good headache. It's it's great to have the support, the love, and whatnot, because that's what keeps this industry going. But sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. Yeah, just a smidge. I get it. (laughs) Um, so when you and I first met uh, a while ago now, you were just my kid's dance instructor before uh, I yes. realized, you know, that we were sort of in similar lines of business. Mm. So, you know, I, I get the dance side, but but how how is it that you got interested in teaching kids this? Um, I, well, it's kind of a hard thing to answer. Um, 
what so the question is what interests me in teaching children or Correct. yeah in a more complicated way of me asking that yes oh okay what do you do teaching kids yeah. so <laughs> what interests me in uh teaching children um when you teach a child or when you, well i don't even want to say me teaching a child it's a it's a mutual relationship where the child is teaching you how they learn and you're teaching the child's skills that you know to help them reach their goals. So I think when you reach a certain point, you want to pass on the passion or excitement. I like to say three words, inspiration, passion, and fearless will. So you, you want to pass those three things on to uh, the next generation. And you know, teaching kids is an absolute blast. And if you ever want your creativity side to just soar through the window, have a five-year-old conversation. Go have a conversation with a five-year-old and your creativity will go ping, 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 because their imagination is so unfiltered and it's fantastic. So I teach kids because it's a blast. I love it. And it's wonderful to see the growth and inspiration and the growth and passion that they get. And then when they hit their roadblocks, it's great to be kind of that chisel tool to help them hold that fearless will to like bust through that wall and keep following those dreams. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it's got to be amazing. I mean, so the, the your annual showcase, your annual annual dance showcase was just a, a week or so ago. And I, w I got to be able to see a lot of the performances. I and mean, you have a lot of talented kids there. Uh, we do. Um, we have a lot of amazing kids. Uh, the talent from dancing is on full spectrum at this studio. So you've got some kids that are just tappers all day long. And then you've got some that just take to a point shoe like it's a second part of their body. Um, so it, it is all spectrum. We are all shapes, sizes, and colors at this studio. So I'm very proud of that aspect that there is an, a, an extreme acceptability uh, at our studio. There's an extreme kindness and anybody that wants to learn the art of dance or anybody that even wants to just learn the art of life through dance can come and be welcome. Now, I know one of your sayings in the studio, and I'm going to get it wrong, but it's it's love and safety and community or something no, like that, right? No, I, I totally blew that point. Very, very close. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, well, we'll put all those words you know, in together. Yeah. Why not? You know, you know but, it, but it's great to see all the – say that again? I said safe, clean, and kind. Safe, clean, and kind. It's so great to see all these kids – you know, just accept each other and be friends with each mm. other. Like you said, all shapes, different sizes. Yeah. And, and they all they all love each other, well, which is great. Kids, kids have to be taught not to love one another. Um, they have a natural, natural reaction to one another to give hugs, to help tie each other's shoes and whatnot. It's outside influences that have to teach them not to love someone for just who they are. And it's also outside influences that have to teach them to look at differences because these kids don't look at differences. That's a taught behavior. Um, so uh, when you're in this studio and those things are not focused on and differences are not differences are celebrated instead of uh, defining, then you've got all these kids that are just like, woo, let's do this. You know, you get a good team going. Absolutely. And, you know, <laughs> speaking of a good team, I know you got, you've you just you've won some awards. So you're you're not just a dance studio. You're an award winning dance studio. We are. And it seems we like are. a lot of awards, right? Uh, a few. Yeah. So we, we are nationally recognized, which is great. Uh, in this past season, the most recent season, we went to Next Star Dance Competition and we brought 15 numbers and we brought back 15 platinum awards and all of the numbers made it into top five overalls. And then we also went to Kids Artistic Review, which is a very large competition and a lot of fun. We brought 15 numbers, came back with 15 top firsts, uh, entertainment award, best costume, uh, and then four judges' choice awards, and all the numbers made it into top 10. So the, the kids are not just dancers. They are dancers, you know. Anyways, we have a blast with it. <laughs> Big D <deep> dancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what what have you got planned for the future? I know that you don't like to sit still too long. You got you got any plans you'd like to share with anybody yet? 
Well, um, no specifics, but um, I will say this next week, which I'm very excited about. I have an interview with a very large uh, film company on a reality TV show that I have been trying to launch for seven years. And I finally wow. got an interview, and I'm very excited. So we'll see how that goes. That's awesome. Who knows? Maybe something will come from it, or maybe it'll get put back on the shelf for another seven years. Um, but I always like to say, you um, you know, in life, you chase perfection to never attain it, and all the while gain excellence through consistency of effort. Uh, so whether you get it now or you get it later, the excellence becomes the effort and the, the constant uh, tenacity that you need to not only stay alive in the entertainment world, but to stay alive in life, period. Uh, you've got to get out there and get it working. So I would say in the future, some fun stuff. Um, got to keep it going. I like fun yeah. stuff. You know, just a lot of fun stuff. I like to keep projects going. Um, I, I did get a part recently in a movie with Tyler Perry Studios. So I'm very excited for that filming coming up. And um, this summer, I will be going to uh, Daytona to host for an entire week for uh, Mark of Excellence National Talent Competition as their host. So I'm excited about that. And oh, just all kinds of stuff. And I think I'm opening another business. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> the opportunity we'll see. is there. We'll see how the wind blows. Yeah, we'll Absolutely. see how the wind blows. You know, that's, that's yeah. what I like to say. You know, hey, go with it, right? Well, hey, uh, if, if parents are interested or kids are interested in signing up for your dance class or anything like that, how do they do that? Okay, so for Kyle Khan Studios, um, it's super simple. Our social media handles are at Kyle Khan Studios, and that's K-Y-L-E-K-A-H-N Studios. Uh, you can also visit us online at www.kyleconstudios.com. If you're looking for event or production, then you're going to be heading to kylecon.com and you'll be able to select our event management website. If you're looking to shop with us, that is going to be KKS Apparel Company. Um, or if you're just looking to say hello and you want me to come out and whatnot, then that would be at Dance Kyle as my personal uh, um, social media handle. So at Dance Kyle. So Kyle Khan Studios, Kyle Khan Event Management, KK Apparel Company, and me, Kyle Khan. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, Kyle, I appreciate your time. It's always a pleasure speaking with you and working with you. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to doing it again soon. Yeah, Nick, you're amazing. Keep it up, man. And congrats on all your uh, awards. I appreciate that. Thank I'd you, have sir. that in every frame if I'd had it. <laughs> Strategically place it all back here Absolutely. in my line. I need to start doing that. Absolutely. I mean, all I have right. all mine on the wall here, but they're not nearly as impressive. I've got all. I've got we need 14. to put those on your back blue wall. It's right on this wall. It's the silliest thing. I have 14 yeah. certifications. Oh, and I'm in school there right you go. now. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> lots I am. of stuff I'm in going on. At, uh, NYU Tisch, Tisch School of the Arts. What so. are you? What are you taking there? Um, I got accepted into their uh, certification program for theater and film essentials, which is interesting. A yeah, which is a certification I need to continue my career at Disney. Uh, so I worked for Disney for 10 years and I have my Disney's approach to leadership certificate and I want to be a show director one day. So that will help me please the mouse. <laughs> How much longer till you complete that program? Um, it is a two-year certification, and I'm going to do it in 10 months. So I sat down with the guidance counselor, and it has been quite the workload. But um, this summer, I'll be able to get way ahead. So I should be done by November of this year. That should be good. That's a lot of work. But it's fun. But exciting. Yeah, it's not work when it's fun, right? Absolutely. I, you know, I never work. I just play all day. Push push bright shiny buttons and point a camera. It's a lot of fun. Exactly. And then, you know, on the days where I'm just having a bad day, I go into my three and four year old class and I look at everybody and say, who lost a tooth? Conversations <laughs> begin. <laughs> <laughs> and stories abound for each oh, one. Stories everywhere, everywhere. It's fantastic. It's the the of it. Well, that's what that little board is back there. That's all the, the, drawings and uh, cards and little flowers and everything. I save all that mess. All right. Well, Kyle, I appreciate your time. 
And uh, we'll talk again soon.